All right, welcome back party people. So I just wanted to make this video. It's gonna be a short video. <laughs> Uh, my birthday week and it's also G Money's birthday coming up soon and it's also close to spring break for uh, H Money so we've got some things planned and we've been trying to get ready for all that. We've got some exciting stuff coming up though. We're going to be going up to Virginia and Northern Virginia and West Virginia and uh, do a little bit of UTV riding up there. So the real reason I'm making this video is that you guys know I've got a 2019 Transit 250, medium height, 148 wheelbase, and you can go back and look in a few videos, especially when I took the first trip across country. We waited on the cat scales with it loaded, somewhere around 7,700 pounds, so maybe 7,700, 7,800 pounds. And I did my first brake change on Monday, and you can see here, these are rear pads, and I was cutting it pretty close. So these are the inside pads here, you can see the little, the see this little notch here that goes into the piston you can see where the piston was pushing up against this so the inside ones are always the worst you can see there it's cutting it pretty close and then the other inside one. Oh, here's, the right here. here's the other inside and you can see there they are uh, getting pretty thin there the good news is the rotors were not warped nor were they grooved. So I ended up not replacing the rotors. Now, mileage on the van right now is currently around 48,500. And I gave you the weight, I gave you uh, the year. So mostly highway mileage for this van. I don't drive it around town much at all. So it's highway mileage. Uh, I, I try to be easy on the brakes, but it does get a lot of mountain action. So it's going up and down mountains a lot. You can tell from some of the trips that we recorded, we stay out in the mountains a lot. So use this as a guide, if you may, if you're easy on your brakes and uh, you weigh around the same amount and you have the 250, then it's likely that you may get about 48,000 miles out of rear brake pads. And you may not have to change your rotors at all if you get to these fast enough. Uh, I'm not one to change out rotors, especially if it's the first brake change, because most people change out the rotors just because somebody's told them that it's always good to change out the rotors, which you know, it may be, but I'm not throwing money at a problem that doesn't exist. And the other issue I take up with is most of the time the rotors you put back on it, they're not going to be as good as the ones that came on it from factory. So people tend to cheap out and they'll go buy some rotors from like a, you know, one of the auto parts stores and you're going to get a version of rotor that's going to be cheaper than the one that's on it. So anyhow, that's my uh, take on it. The pads I use are CarQuest Frontline and uh, I didn't make a full video on the brake change. Oh, it's starting to rain now, but uh, there's a lot of people that's already done this and since I didn't do the rotors, I didn't have to take out the axles and replace the axle seals and all the bolts that need to be replaced. So MedTech and a few other those guys, they've done great complete videos on it. So I didn't see that there was going to be any value that I brought to the table other than giving some people an idea about how many miles that they may get on the rear brake pads. 